Hey everybody, welcome back to Gran Turismo 3. Alright you guys, here we go. The Opel Speedster. Oh. I remember the first time I saw this car, I was like, man, that is so cool. I, I used to love this car. Like, was it Gran Turismo 2? I think it was Gran Turismo 2 that this car was first uh, introduced. I remember seeing it for the first time and being like, yeah, oh, that car is so cool looking. Like, I just love the style of this car. It's such an aggressive looking little car. I've always loved the, uh, the exhaust on it as well, the dual tip exhaust. But they're vertically stacked instead of, you know, horizontally next to each other like any normal exhaust. It just looks so different. <laughs> Love the little speedster, man. About to have some fun today driving this car. 370 horsepower. Only weighing in at 756 kilograms. Mid-engine, rear-wheel drive with the dash, dash engine. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey Google, what type of engine does an Opel Speedster have? GM Ecotec four-cylinder engines. On the website roadandtrack.com, they say the Speedster used GM Ecotec four-cylinder engines. Hmm. It's a straight up Ecotec. It's like a Chevrolet Cavalier engine. Ecotec? Hey Google, how many liters does the Opel Speedster engine have? On the website car they say Opel's sporty and elemental speedster made its production debut in Geneva, powered by a 145 HP Ecotec 2.2 liter 2 mid-mounted four-cylinder engine. Do you uh, want a little more context? No. No, no. No! <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. God damn it. That's pretty funny, actually. It, it's literally the uh, Chevrolet Cavalier engine, or a Pontiac Sunfire. I shit you not, 2.2 liter Ecotec. Well, for the 2.2 liter, like, you know, there's the Z24, well, that's the 2.4 liter Ecotec. And then there's the all the other Cavaliers, which have the either the 2 liter Ecotec or a 2.2. Anyways. That's crazy. Anyways, here's our uh, <laughs> top speed challenge you guys got. <laughs> Getting so off topic. Yeah, here's our lineup. So we need to beat 163 to post on the board, set by the Toyota Sprinter, Trino. 8-6. And then to beat everyone, we need to beat that Toyota MR2 at 177.4. Settings. You guys can hit pause on any of these uh, screens, obviously. Super soft. You can go ahead and hit pause on <coughs> any of these uh, screens to really look at stuff in detail. 27, and of course, 0 and 1. Let's go! Top speed! Very quick uh, response. Like instantaneous maximum RPM, just a little tiny touch on the gas pedal, like wow, wow! Very responsive. Yeah, look at the mufflers, eh? I've, I've always loved that about this car, man. So unique. Not anymore, I mean, a lot of different cars have all kinds of different muffler and exhaust setups, but this was like one of the first ones that really made it weird and actually had it look good. 165 it is, seventh place. Actually, triple tie right here between the Elise 190, Acura RSX, and the Opel Speedster. A triple tie. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Did you guys just hear that? <laughs> that was my dog. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, you guys, quarter mile. King of the quarter mile, the Motorsport Elise, followed by its little brother, the Elise 190. And then a whole bunch of other mid-engine rear-wheel drive cars. <laughs> Jeez. Just like this, though. That's the thing. So this thing might actually set a pretty good time. It takes off pretty quick. 
Let's get this. Vroom. Vroom, vroom. Go, 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 go! Ooh, Ooh that's fast. Eleven four. Shoof! Shoof! It just separated the two lotuses. Crazy. Speedster actually just beat the Lotus 190 there. Wow, look at how... Oh my god, dude, this is getting wild. Look at how close that is. 11.405. Motorsport Elise. 11.432 on the Opel Speedster. That's literally like, if you were to put them on the track at the same time, like Ghosty, bro, they would be like inside of each other. They would have crossed the line with like six inches of difference. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, you guys, is the Speedster going to do good on the Midfield Hot Lap Challenge, though? That's the real question. Any car can go fast in a straight line. But let's see how this car actually drives. Can we bring this? This is a convertible, is it not? Yeah, let's roll. It's a hard top. <laughs> Yeah, I've always loved the Speedster, and the Vauxhall VX220 as well, which is like this car's twin. I've just always loved this car, ever since I first saw it in Gran Turismo 2, it's the headlights that do it for me. I see the headlights and I'm like, oof, damn, that's nice, <laughs> you know, looks nice, very sharp. Well, let's see how she drives. Well, let's cock it, you guys, for the style points. Style, oh, that was very nice. Speedster life, yo, know, there's another uh, black speedster there. Ooh, this car has some fucking mint handling. Whoa. It's got a whole lot of oversteer. Easy. Oh, I all of a sudden don't trust it. Turn. Got a girl. Oh, let's unleash. Rock. Rock. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, this car flies. It, it's going to be a little bit tricky to get a perfect lap out there on midfield for the midfield hot lap challenge. Damn, look at this thing capping out. It's a hard charging little car, you guys. Missed the apex there, under braked. Whoa. Kind of gets stuck to the stickies there. I had to go uh, wibble wobble on that. Whoa, steering wheel there. All right, all right, calm down. It gets a little wacky when you ask it to do too much. Oh! Turn, 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 shit, shit, shit. Oh, as if we actually held that with the inside tires. Yeah, it gets a little wacky when you ask too much of it. When you're given uh, a little bit like overzealous input. So I think to get a good lap on the midfield hot lap challenge, I think um, we'll drive a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, that seems to be doing the trick. Yo, this car's fast, man. <clears throat> I, I highly doubt that it's going to beat the, uh, the Motorsport Elise. I don't think there's going to be a car that beats the Motorsport at least for a little while, you guys. Like, I'm, I won't even get around. 
<laughs> that car's fast as hell. Alright, let's see if she's got what it takes at the midfield. Hot lap challenge. Three laps. <laughs> no matter what happens. What happens, happens. Three laps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The king of midfield, the motorsport Elise, with an absolutely ridiculous time of 110.789. 113.564, though, to take second if we uh, do really well here. 117.592 to be on the board. Alright. Opel Speedster. <clears throat> Can you beat that motorsport, Elise? Opel Speedster. Can you? Let's find out. See that little boot scootin' buggy we did there when it said start? Whoa. Yeah. It's gonna be a little hard to get these laps. Just like it was in the Motorsport Elise. But on the third lap there, you know, it's like... By that time, I've done a good job at getting used to the car. Alright, Speedster. Can you kick it? a new champion at midfield. That's a 109. That's a 109. Oh! I can't even believe that this car just beat the Motorsport Elise. Too much of a throw to the left. <laughs> wow! New champion of midfield, you guys. Wow! Wow! 109 706. 
bro. <laughs> Yo, the speedster's fast as fuck, bro. What just happened? Holy, that's impressive. Call me impressed, bro. That car's fast as shit. Look at that! <laughs> By a full second, it beat the Motorsport Elise, bro. Did I not just say in this very same video, it's gonna be a while before something beats the Motorsport Elise? Fucking good night. Wow. That's crazy, dude. Bruh, the Opel Speedster's fast as shit! <laughs> Let's look at this weapon, you guys. Look at this thing. What? Champion, bro. This is a current champion. Holy crap. Damn it, thank you guys for coming out watching uh, the Opel Speedster absolutely take over out here in the challenge series on the channel. Good God, I am absolutely blown away. <laughs> that is insane. Those speedsters fast, you guys. Good God. Yeah, man, thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode of Gran Turismo 3. Do me a favor, leave a like on the video, maybe subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I freaking love you and I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. So be sure to have a good. Bye. Bye.